Hi there, my name is Colin Jarvis and I'm the Vice President of Stealth Belt Inc. In this video, we're going to be going over how to measure for a stealth belt. There are three primary measurements that you'll need for a stealth belt. The first of them is the side of your body that the stoma is located. So for instance, I have a right-sided stoma. The second measurement that you'll need for a stealth belt is your body size at the level of the stoma. It's important not to get that confused with your pant size measurement because oftentimes the stoma is not at the same level in your body as where your pant line is and the measurements can differ. To get the proper measurement for your waist size at the level of your stoma, the best way to do it is to measure just above and then just below the ostomy appliance around the waist using a tape measure. If you don't have a tape measure readily available, a good way to do it is to just find a piece of string, bring it around the body, and then measure that piece of string after you've put it around your body. And the third measurement that you'll need for a stealth belt is to measure the flange diameter of your actual ostomy appliance. I'll explain what that means in more detail. When you measure your flange size for a stealth belt, the first thing you need to determine is whether you have a one-piece appliance, like these examples over here, or a two-piece appliance, like one of the ones over here. The flange diameter is referring to the width of space from one end of the flange to another, and so that can be seen as this distance on these appliances. For one-piece appliances, the best way to identify that would be to set it up so that you can uh, see where the bag attaches to the adhesive, and that space from this edge to that edge is what we consider the flange diameter measurement for a stealth belt. So you'd simply just get a ruler, like this one right here, fold the sides in and measure from one side to the other. And so this one is measuring at about two and three quarters of an inch. If your flange measurement comes out between two of the sizes that Stealth Belt offers, it's best to round up to the next size. Some appliances, such as this Coloplast one, are a little bit more confusing since they have this uh, larger floating flange element. So with these ones, the best way to do it is similar to the one piece, you're going to fold the edges in like such and then measure again that attachment point, the diameter from one end to the other. If you have questions about how to measure your specific appliance for the flange diameter, you can always check out our website where we have specific videos for each type of appliance from the major manufacturers or you can give us a call and we're happy to help you through the process.